Anna Parker was always the last to be picked. At the Intergalactic Academy, where promising cadets from various species trained, she was a joke. The humans were supposed to be exceptional, yet Anna barely managed to pass her courses. Her instructors were puzzled, and her classmates mocked her. Little did they know, she harbored a secret even she wasn't aware of. The Intergalactic Academy was a prestigious institution, drawing the best and brightest from across the galaxy. Students from dozens of different species competed fiercely, each hoping to prove themselves worthy of serving in the Galactic Coalition's elite forces. The Academy's human cadets had a reputation for excellence, but Anna seemed to defy that trend. Her test scores were abysmal, her performance in simulations was laughable, and she struggled with even the most basic piloting maneuvers. Anna's bunkmates, an eclectic mix of species, often whispered about her at night. There was Gorik, a hulking Grithorian, with a natural talent for strategy, who couldn't fathom how someone so inept could have made it this far. Next to him was Rinna, a sleek and agile Valeran, whose sharp mind and quick reflexes made her one of the top cadets. Then there was Zorvax, a Xylithian, whose multi-limbed form and superior intellect made him a natural leader. They all excelled where Anna floundered. Instructors at the academy were equally baffled. Commander Threx, a veteran of countless battles and a strict disciplinarian, took a particular interest in Anna's failures. He would call her out during drills, pushing her harder, hoping to uncover some hidden potential. Yet, every effort seemed to end in disappointment. Anna's flight scores were so low that Threx wondered aloud if she had somehow cheated to get into the academy in the first place. Despite the ridicule and the constant pressure, Anna remained determined. She spent long hours in the simulator, trying to improve her piloting skills. Late at night, when the training rooms were empty, she practiced hand-to-hand -hand combat, going through the motions with a relentless drive. She devoured technical manuals, hoping to gain any edge she could in the theoretical exams. But no matter how hard she worked, her results barely improved. Anna's struggles weren't just academic. Socially, she was an outcast. Her classmates avoided her, and she often ate alone in the mess hall. The few times she tried to join in on conversations, she was met with cold shoulders and thinly veiled insults. The alien cadets in particular seemed to relish in her failures, seeing her as a blemish on the human record. Rumors of a looming alien threat spread like wildfire. The mysterious Zalathar Empire, known for its ruthless conquests, had been advancing towards the Galactic Coalition's borders. Panic ensued among the cadets, except for Anna. She felt a strange calm, as if something within her was awakening. The Zalathar Empire was a name that sent chills down the spines of even the most seasoned warriors. Known for their brutal tactics and relentless expansion, the Zalathar were the nightmare of the galaxy. Reports of their latest conquests reached the Academy, detailing the destruction of entire planets and the enslavement of their populations. The coalition forces had engaged them several times, but always at a heavy cost. In the Academy's briefing rooms, holograms of Zalathar ships flickered with cold, menacing light. Commander Threx addressed the cadets, his voice grim. We are facing an unprecedented threat. The Zalathar Empire is unlike any enemy we've encountered. Their technology is advanced, their tactics merciless. We must be prepared to defend the coalition at all costs. The cadets, normally full of bravado, were subdued. Whispered conversations filled the halls, speculation running rampant. Zorvax, always the analyst, pored over intelligence reports, trying to glean any advantage. Gorik and Rinna trained harder, pushing their physical limits, knowing they might soon be called into battle. Amidst the growing anxiety, Anna felt an unusual sense of calm. The more she heard about the Zalathar, the more she felt a connection to something deeper within herself. It was as if the mention of this formidable enemy resonated with a part of her she had never tapped into before. She couldn't explain it, but the fear that gripped her peers didn't touch her. One night, while others tossed and turned in their bunks, Anna found herself drawn to the Academy's observatory. She stood alone, gazing out at the vastness of space, feeling the hum of the cosmos. It was there, amidst the silence, that she felt it, a surge of energy, faint but unmistakable. 
It was as if the stars themselves were whispering to her, urging her to awaken. The next day, a meeting was called to address the latest developments. Admiral Serac, a high-ranking official from the Galactic Coalition, had arrived to brief the cadets personally. His presence underscored the severity of the situation. He spoke of the Zalathar's latest maneuvers and the Coalition's desperate need for new strategies and brave fighters. As Admiral Serac concluded his speech, he announced that a team of cadets would be sent on a reconnaissance mission to a recently attacked outpost. The goal was to gather intelligence and, if possible, rescue any survivors. The mission was dangerous, and failure was not an option. When Anna's name was called as part of the team, a murmur of disbelief rippled through the room. Her classmates exchanged incredulous glances, some openly scoffing. Anna herself was stunned, her heart racing. She had always been overlooked for such assignments. Why now? Commander Threx's gaze met hers, his expression inscrutable. Cadet Parker, you have a chance to prove yourself. Do not squander it. As the distress signal echoed through the Academy's communication center, a sense of urgency filled the air. Commander Threx and Admiral Serac analyzed the garbled transmission, which described an attack by Zalathar forces. The message was brief and desperate, indicating heavy casualties and critical damage to the outpost. We need a reconnaissance team, Admiral Serac declared. We must assess the situation and rescue any survivors. Commander Threx nodded, scanning the list of cadets. He selected a team based on diverse skills and capabilities. The final name on the list caught everyone's attention, Anna Parker. The decision sparked immediate controversy. With all due respect, sir, Zorvex spoke up, his voice calm but firm. Cadet Parker has not demonstrated the necessary skills for such a mission. Others murmured in agreement. Rinna, though usually silent on such matters, added, This mission is too important to risk failure. Commander Threx held up his hand to silence them. I've made my decision. Cadet Parker will go. She has potential that has yet to be realized. This mission might be what she needs to unlock it. Despite their doubts, the team assembled. They gathered in the hangar, making final preparations. The Starfire, a sleek and advanced reconnaissance ship, was prepped for departure. As Anna approached, she felt the weight of skeptical eyes on her. You ready for this? Gorik asked, his tone a mix of curiosity and doubt. Anna met his gaze, a steely determination in her eyes. I am. The team boarded the Starfire, strapping into their seats as the engines roared to life. The ship lifted off, leaving the safety of the Academy behind. Anna took her place among the crew, feeling a mixture of excitement and anxiety. This was her chance to prove herself, to show that she belonged. As they broke through the planet's atmosphere and entered hyperspace, the crew settled into their roles. Zorvax monitored the ship's systems, his multiple limbs moving with practiced efficiency. Rinna and Gorik prepared the weapons and defense systems, ensuring they were ready for any encounter. Anna found herself assigned to navigation, a critical position that required precision and skill. The journey through hyperspace was tense but uneventful. The stars stretched into long streaks of light, creating a hypnotic backdrop against the darkness of space. Anna focused on her task, feeling an unexplainable connection to the ship and the vastness around her. She sensed that this mission was more than just a test. It was a turning point. As they approached the outpost, the Starfire emerged from hyperspace with a jolt. The scene before them was one of devastation. The outpost, once a bustling hub of activity, was now a smoldering ruin. Wreckage floated in space, and the faint signals of emergency beacons blinked sporadically. We're here, Zorvax announced, his voice tinged with tension. Scanners are picking up faint life signs. We need to move quickly. Zorvax, ever the strategist, began issuing orders. Gorak, secure the docking bay. Rinna, prepare the medical supplies. We might have injured personnel to deal with. Anna's role was critical. She had to keep the ship stable and ready for a quick escape if necessary. The control panel glowed under her fingers, the technology feeling both familiar and alien. She felt the hum of the ship as if it was responding to her touch, guiding her actions with a subtle force. As they docked with the outpost, the silence of space was replaced by the eerie quiet of the devastated station. 
The team disembarked, moving cautiously through the corridors, weapons at the ready. The flickering lights and the occasional sound of metal creaking under stress created an atmosphere of unease. Anna stayed at the rear, her eyes scanning the surroundings. Her senses were heightened, and she felt an inexplicable pull guiding her steps. She couldn't shake the feeling that something significant was about to happen. The team reached the control room, finding it in shambles. Dr. Varick, the alien scientist who had sent the distress signal, lay injured but alive. Gorik and Rinna immediately began administering first aid, while Zorvax questioned him about the attack. It was the Zalathar, Dr. Varick rasped, his voice weak but determined. They came out of nowhere. We didn't stand a chance. Anna felt a surge of anger at the mention of the Zalathar. Images of their conquests and the destruction they wrought filled her mind. She clenched her fists, feeling the strange energy within her growing stronger. We need to get him back to the ship, Zorvac said, his tone urgent. This outpost is compromised. As they made their way back, the ship's sensors detected movement. The Zalathar had returned, and their ships were closing in fast. The team hurried, knowing they had little time. Once aboard the Starfire, Anna took her place at the controls. The alien ships appeared on the sensors, sleek and menacing. Zorvax's voice cut through the tension. Anna, get us out of here. Her hands moved instinctively over the controls, her connection to the ship deepening. The Starfire responded with remarkable agility, weaving through the debris and evading enemy fire. Her teammates watched in astonishment as she executed maneuvers they had never seen her perform. How is she doing that? Rinna muttered, her eyes wide with disbelief. Gorik, equally amazed, simply shook his head. I have no idea, but she's keeping us alive. Anna felt a sense of clarity and purpose she had never experienced before. The energy within her flowed freely, guiding her actions with precision. The Zalathar ships seemed to anticipate her movements, but she was always one step ahead. With a final burst of speed, the Starfire broke free from the battle slipping into hyperspace. The crew let out a collective sigh of relief, their bodies relaxing as the immediate danger passed. Anna leaned back in her seat, her heart racing but her mind clear. Zorvax approached her, his expression a mix of awe and curiosity. Anna, that was… incredible. Where did you learn to fly like that? Anna met his gaze, a determined glint in her eyes. I didn't, I just felt it. The journey back to the academy was filled with a newfound respect for Anna. Her teammates, once doubters, now looked at her with admiration. They had witnessed her true potential, and it had saved their lives. The Starfire exited hyperspace, emerging into the cold, dark expanse near the outpost. The remnants of the once bustling station floated in space, a silent testament to the Zalathar's brutality. The crew barely had time to register the devastation before their sensors blared an alarm. Incoming ships, multiple bogies, Zorvax shouted, his eyes darting across the control panel. Anna's heart pounded in her chest as she strapped herself into the pilot's seat. The ship shuddered as the first barrage of enemy fire struck their shields. She gripped the controls, her fingers moving with an unexpected familiarity. The starfire responded with a grace and agility that belied its size. Anna, evasive maneuvers, Gorik called out, his voice tense but trusting. She didn't need to be told twice. Anna's instincts took over, and the ship twisted and turned through the debris field. The Zalathar ships, sleek and deadly, pursued them relentlessly. Each movement felt natural, as if the ship was an extension of her body. She dodged enemy fire, using the wreckage as cover, executing complex maneuvers with ease. Zorvax worked furiously at his station, firing back at their pursuers. Shields are holding, but we can't take much more of this. Rinna's voice came over the comms from the weapon station. I've got a lock on the lead ship. Firing now. A bright beam of energy lanced out from the starfire, striking one of the Zalathar ships and sending it spiraling out of control. Anna didn't wait to see the result. She pushed the engines to their limits, weaving through the chaos. Her focus was absolute, her mind clear and sharp. The enemy ships closed in, but Anna's evasive maneuvers kept them at bay. She looped around a large piece of debris, then cut the engines, letting the starfire drift silently. 
the Zalathar ships overshot their mark, giving Rinna and Zorvax the perfect opportunity to unleash a barrage of laser fire. Two more enemy ships exploded in a fiery burst. Nice shooting, Gorik cheered, his voice filled with relief. Anna re-engaged the engines, pushing the star fire towards the relative safety of open space. The remaining Zalathar ships hesitated, then broke off their attack, retreating back into the darkness. The crew let out a collective sigh of relief as the immediate threat passed. Anna leaned back in the pilot's seat, her hands trembling from the adrenaline. She couldn't believe what she'd just done. The maneuvers, the precision, it had all come so naturally, as if some hidden part of her had taken control. Zorvax approached her, his expression a mix of awe and respect. That was incredible, Anna. I've never seen flying like that. Anna met his gaze, her eyes wide with a mix of fear and exhilaration. I, I don't know how I did it. It just happened. Gorik clapped her on the shoulder. Whatever it was, it saved our lives. We wouldn't have made it without you. The rest of the crew nodded in agreement, their previous doubts about Anna now replaced with admiration. They had seen her true potential, and it had made all the difference. The starfire docked at what remained of the outpost. The airlock hissed open revealing a scene of utter devastation. Twisted metal and scorched walls testified to the ferocity of the Zalathar attack. The team moved cautiously, weapons drawn, scanning for any signs of movement. Stay sharp, Zorvax warned. We don't know what we might find in here. They navigated through the wreckage, their footsteps echoing in the eerie silence. Amidst the debris, a faint signal caught their attention. Following it, they found Dr. Varek, the alien scientist, trapped under a fallen beam. His pale skin was bruised and bloodied, but his eyes shone with determination. Help me, he rasped, his voice weak but urgent. Gorik and Rinna worked quickly to free him, lifting the beam and pulling him to safety. Anna knelt beside him, offering him water and tending to his wounds as best as she could. Dr. Varek, we're here to help, she said gently. Can you tell us what happened? Dr. Varick took a deep breath, wincing in pain. The Zalathar. They attacked without warning. We were unprepared. They were looking for something, something we had discovered. Zorvax leaned in, his eyes narrowing. What did you find? Dr. Varick's gaze shifted to Anna, a strange intensity in his eyes. A weapon, a weapon of unimaginable power, capable of destroying entire planets. We were studying it trying to understand its origins and how to neutralize it. The Zalathar want it for their own purposes. Anna felt a chill run down her spine. The sense of connection she had felt earlier grew stronger, an unshakable certainty that this mission was crucial. Where is this weapon now? The scientist coughed, struggling to speak. It's hidden on a planet, far from here. The coordinates are in my lab. You must retrieve them and stop the Zalathar from getting their hands on it. Rinna helped Dr. Varick to his feet. We'll get you back to the Starfire and treat your injuries. Then we'll find those coordinates. As they made their way back, Anna couldn't shake the feeling that something profound was unfolding. She glanced at Dr. Varick, who met her gaze with a knowing look. You have a gift, he said quietly. A power that can change the course of this war. Trust in it, and trust in yourself. Anna nodded feeling a sense of resolve solidify within her. She would not let the Zalathar succeed. This mission was her chance to prove her worth, not just to her team, but to herself. And she would see it through, no matter the cost. Back on the Starfire, the crew worked to stabilize Dr. Varick and treat his injuries. The atmosphere was tense but focused, each cadet performing their duties with renewed vigor. Anna found herself sitting next to the alien scientist, her mind buzzing with questions. Dr. Varick, though weak, was eager to explain. Anna, you have within you a power that has been passed down through generations. This power, known as the resonance, is unique to certain humans. It grants abilities beyond ordinary comprehension, but it requires a catalyst to awaken fully. Anna's eyes widened as she listened. Resonance? Is that why I've always felt different? Yes, Dr. Varick replied. The ambush and the subsequent threat triggered your resonance. Your ancestors discovered this power and harnessed it to protect humanity in times of great peril. It's why you were able to pilot the Starfire with such precision. 
The resonance enhances your instincts and abilities. She absorbed his words, feeling a mix of awe and disbelief. But why me? Why now? Dr. Varick gave her a knowing look. The resonance chooses its moments. It emerges when it is most needed. You've always had the potential, Anna. The recent events merely unlocked it. Anna sat back, her mind racing. She thought about her struggles at the academy, the sense of not belonging. Now it made sense. She had been on the cusp of something extraordinary all along. You must learn to harness this power, Dr. Varick continued. It will be crucial in the battles to come. The Zalathar are relentless, and the weapon they seek could tip the balance of power in their favor. Your resonance can help prevent that. Determined, Anna nodded. Then I'll do whatever it takes to master it. I won't let them win. The team set course for the planet Dr. Varick mentioned. Along the way, Anna trained rigorously, learning to harness her resonance. Her skills improved rapidly, stunning her peers. Zorvax, initially skeptical, began to respect her. Bonds formed as they prepared for the upcoming battle. The Starfire journeyed through the vastness of space, navigating towards the distant planet where the weapon was hidden. The crew maintained a strict training regimen, knowing the importance of their mission. Anna spent hours in the ship's training room honing her abilities under Dr. Varick's guidance. Focus on your breathing, Dr. Varick instructed, his voice calm and steady. Let the resonance flow through you. It is an extension of your will. Anna closed her eyes, centering herself. She felt the familiar hum of the resonance, a warm energy that pulsed within her. Slowly, she began to manipulate it, directing the power with her thoughts. Objects around the room started to move, lifting off the ground and hovering in the air. Good, Dr. Varick said, nodding in approval. You're making progress. As the days passed, Anna's control over her abilities grew stronger. She practiced combat techniques, using the resonance to enhance her speed and strength. She trained in the simulator, piloting the Starfire with increasing skill. Her teammates watched in awe as she executed maneuvers that seemed impossible. Zorvax, who had been skeptical of her abilities, gradually changed his tune. He observed her during training sessions, noting her rapid improvement. One day, he approached her as she was catching her breath after a particularly intense session. You've come a long way, Anna, he said, his tone respectful. I misjudged you. Your abilities are impressive. Anna smiled, appreciating his words. Thank you, Zorvax. I couldn't have done it without your support. The two of them began to spend more time together, working on strategies and refining their combat skills. Gorik and Rinna joined in, and the group forged a strong bond. They were no longer just a team. They were a unit, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. As they neared their destination, the crew gathered in the briefing room. A holographic image of the planet flickered in the air, displaying its rugged terrain and dense forests. This is where the weapon is hidden. Dr. Varick explained, pointing to a mountain range on the hologram. It's buried deep within a cavern, protected by ancient technology. The Zalathar will stop at nothing to retrieve it. Zorvax studied the map, his mind racing with tactical considerations. We'll need to move quickly and decisively. If we're detected, it could compromise the entire mission. Anna felt a surge of determination. We won't let that happen. We'll get in, secure the weapon, and get out before the Zalathar even know we're there. The crew nodded in agreement, their resolve unwavering. They knew the risks, but they were ready. The fate of the galaxy rested on their shoulders, and they would not fail. The planet, a desolate wasteland, housed the Zalathar's fortress. The cadets devised a plan to infiltrate it and destroy the weapon. As they sneaked in, they encountered fierce resistance. Anna's newfound powers proved crucial, turning the tide in their favor. The Starfire touched down in a secluded valley, hidden from the Zalathar's sensors by the rugged terrain. The crew disembarked, moving swiftly to establish a temporary base. The air was dry and acrid, the landscape barren and hostile. They knew they were deep in enemy territory. Zorvax gathered the team around a portable hollow map, outlining their plan. The fortress is heavily guarded, with patrols around the clock, We'll divide into two teams. Anna and I will take the west entrance, while Gorik and Rinna will cover the east. 
Dr. Varick will remain here to monitor and provide support. Anna nodded, feeling the familiar hum of her resonance as she prepared for the mission. We'll need to move quickly and stay hidden. Once inside, we'll locate the weapon and destroy it before the Zalathar can use it. With their plan in place, the team set off under the cover of darkness. The fortress loomed in the distance, its silhouette stark against the night sky. As they approached, Anna felt a surge of adrenaline. This was it, the moment they had been preparing for. At the west entrance, Anna and Zorvax encountered the first of many security measures. Laser grids, motion sensors, and heavily armed guards stood between them and their goal. Anna focused her resonance, manipulating the energy to disrupt the sensors and disable the lasers. Impressive, Zorvax whispered, his eyes scanning the area for any signs of movement. They slipped through the entrance, moving silently through the dimly lit corridors. The fortress was a maze of steel and stone, echoing with the distant sounds of machinery. Every step was a calculated risk, every corner a potential ambush. Suddenly, a group of Zalathar soldiers rounded the corner. Their eyes glowed with a cold, malevolent light as they raised their weapons. Anna reacted instinctively, her resonance flaring to life. She extended her hand, sending a wave of force that knocked the soldiers off their feet. Zorvax lunged forward, neutralizing the remaining threats with swift, precise strikes. We need to keep moving, he said, his voice steady despite the tension. Meanwhile, on the east side, Gorik and Rinna faced their own challenges. The guards were more numerous, and the security tighter. Gorik used his brute strength to take down obstacles, while Rinna employed her agility to outmaneuver the guards. Their coordinated efforts kept them one step ahead of the enemy. As they converged on the central chamber, where the weapon was supposedly stored, the resistance intensified. The Zalathar seemed to anticipate their moves, throwing everything they had at the intruders. Anna's powers were pushed to their limits, shielding her team from gunfire and countering the enemy's attacks. Deep within the fortress, they found the weapon, a colossal machine capable of annihilating entire planets. Guarding it was a Zalathar warlord, fierce and imposing. A brutal battle ensued. Anna's resonance flared, and she unleashed her full potential, overwhelming the warlord. The chamber housing the weapon was vast and ominous. The machine itself was a marvel of destructive technology, surrounded by intricate circuits and glowing with an eerie light. The air crackled with energy, a palpable sense of danger hanging over the room. As the team stepped forward, the ground trembled, and a towering figure emerged from the shadows. The Zalathar warlord was clad in dark armor, his eyes burning with a fierce intensity. He wielded a massive weapon, a combination of blade and energy cannon, designed for maximum lethality. You dare to challenge the might of the Zalathar? The warlord's voice boomed, reverberating through the chamber. You will perish like all the others. Anna stepped forward, her resonance pulsating with a newfound intensity. We're here to stop you and destroy that weapon. We won't let you use it to wreak havoc on the galaxy. The warlord charged, his weapon slicing through the air with a deadly hum. Anna met his attack head-on, her resonance forming a protective barrier around her. The clash of energy sent shockwaves through the chamber, shaking the very foundations of the fortress. Zorvax, Gorak, and Rinna engaged the warlord's elite guards, their coordinated efforts keeping the enemy at bay. The battle was fierce and chaotic, each moment a struggle for survival. The air was filled with the sounds of clashing metal and bursts of energy. Anna focused all her energy on the warlord. She could feel the power of her resonance growing, responding to her will with unprecedented strength. She dodged his attacks with supernatural agility, countering with blasts of force that staggered the imposing figure. The warlord roared in frustration, unleashing a torrent of energy from his weapon. Anna raised her hands, her resonance absorbing and redirecting the attack. The energy coalesced into a brilliant light which she directed back at the warlord. The impact was devastating, sending him crashing into the machinery behind him. You cannot defeat me, the warlord snarled, rising to his feet. I am invincible. Anna took a deep breath, centering herself. She knew this was the moment to unleash her full potential. Her eyes glowed with a radiant light as she channeled every ounce of her power into a final, decisive strike. 
The resonance surged through her, a torrent of raw energy. With a fierce cry, Anna unleashed the full force of her resonance. The energy wave hit the warlord with the power of a supernova, overwhelming his defenses and shattering his armor. He let out a final, anguished scream before collapsing, defeated. The chamber fell silent, the air heavy with the aftermath of the battle. Anna stood panting, her body trembling with the exertion. The warlord was defeated, but their mission was not yet complete. She turned to the weapon, knowing they had to destroy it before the Zalathar could reclaim it. Zorvax, Gorak, and Rinna joined her, their expressions a mix of relief and determination. Let's finish this, Zorvax said, his voice resolute. Together, they planted explosives around the colossal machine, setting the timers for a synchronized detonation. As they prepared to leave, Anna took one last look at the weapon, feeling a sense of accomplishment and purpose. The team retreated from the chamber, racing through the fortress as the countdown ticked away. The ground shook with the force of the impending explosion, the walls cracking and crumbling. They reached the starfire just as the fortress began to collapse, the massive structure imploding in a blaze of light and fire. Anna and her team watched from the safety of their ship as the Zalathar fortress was reduced to rubble. The weapon was destroyed and the immediate threat neutralized. They had succeeded against overwhelming odds, their combined strength and determination carrying them through. The weapon was rigged to detonate. With time running out, Anna realized someone had to stay behind to manually disable it. Her teammates protested, but she insisted. With a heavy heart, they evacuated. Alone, Anna confronted her destiny, tapping into the deepest reserves of her power. The destruction of the Zalathar warlord brought a brief moment of relief, but the team quickly realized their victory was short-lived. The colossal weapon, despite their efforts, had an automated self-destruct sequence triggered by the Warlord's defeat. The countdown began, a relentless march towards annihilation. We need to disarm it now, Zorvax yelled, his voice echoing through the chamber. Anna's heart sank as she examined the control panel. It was a complex array of alien technology, far beyond anything they had trained for. The countdown timer blinked ominously, each second bringing them closer to disaster. There's no way to remotely disable it, Gorick said, frustration evident in his tone. Someone has to stay and manually override the sequence. Anna felt a cold certainty settle over her. She had been chosen for this mission for a reason, and now she understood why. I'll do it, she said quietly. Her teammates turned to her, shock and protest in their eyes. No, Anna, Rinna said firmly. We'll find another way. There is no other way, Anna replied her voice steady but filled with resolve. I can do this. You need to get out and warn the Coalition. Tell them what happened here. Zorvax shook his head. We can't leave you behind. You have to, Anna insisted, her eyes locking onto his. This is what the resonance is for. I can manipulate the energy to stop the countdown, but it's going to take everything I have. Her teammates hesitated, torn between their duty and their loyalty to her. Finally, Zorvax nodded a mix of respect and sorrow in his eyes. We will make sure your sacrifice is not in vain. With heavy hearts, they evacuated the chamber, leaving Anna alone with the ticking weapon. She took a deep breath, centering herself. The resonance within her hummed with a fierce intensity, ready to be unleashed. She placed her hands on the control panel, feeling the alien energy course through her. Closing her eyes, Anna delved deep into the resonance, tapping into the very core of her power. She felt herself merge with the machine, her mind becoming one with its intricate circuitry. She could see the pathways of energy, the flow of destructive force that she needed to disrupt. Time slowed as she worked, her consciousness expanding to encompass the entire mechanism. She could feel the countdown ticking away, a relentless march towards oblivion. With every ounce of her strength, she began to manipulate the energy redirecting it, neutralizing it. It was a battle of wills, a test of her limits. The seconds dragged on, each one a monumental effort. Sweat poured down her face, her body trembling with the exertion. She felt the resonance straining, pushing her to the brink of her capabilities, but she did not waver. She thought of her team, her family, and all the lives that depended on her success. Finally, with a last surge of energy, 
Anna disrupted the final circuit. The countdown halted, the weapon deactivated. She collapsed to the ground, utterly spent but victorious. She had done it. The galaxy was safe. The team, watching from the safety of the Starfire, saw the fortress begin to implode. They knew what it meant, and their hearts ached with loss. But they also knew Anna had saved them all. They set a course for home, determined to honor her sacrifice. Anna deactivated the weapon, but the fortress began to collapse. Just as all seemed lost, a blinding light surrounded her. She felt a surge of energy, transporting her back to the Starfire. Her teammates cheered, but Anna was exhausted, her powers drained. As the fortress crumbled around her, Anna lay on the cold, hard floor, her body too weak to move. The energy she had expended had taken its toll, and she felt the darkness closing in. Just as she was about to lose consciousness, a blinding light enveloped her, warm and comforting. She felt herself being lifted, transported away from the imminent destruction. When she opened her eyes, she was back on the Starfire. The familiar hum of the ship's engines and the concerned faces of her teammates greeted her. She blinked, trying to comprehend what had happened. Anna, you're back, Gorak exclaimed, relief and joy evident in his voice. Zorvac stepped forward, his expression a mix of astonishment and admiration. We thought we had lost you. Anna tried to sit up, but her body refused to cooperate. I... I don't understand. How did I get here? Dr. Varick, who had been monitoring her vital signs, approached with a gentle smile. The resonance, Anna. It is more powerful than we realized. It must have sensed your dire need and transported you back to safety. Anna nodded weakly, her mind still reeling from the experience. The weapon. I stopped it. You did, Rinna confirmed, her eyes shining with gratitude. You saved us all. The team cheered, their voices filled with admiration and relief. They had witnessed something extraordinary, something that defied explanation. Anna had not only deactivated the weapon, but had somehow managed to return to them against all odds. As the starfire sped away from the collapsing fortress, Anna felt a deep sense of peace. She had fulfilled her mission, and in doing so, had discovered the true extent of her powers. Her body ached with exhaustion, but her spirit was unbroken. We need to get you to a medical bay, Dr. Varick said, his tone gentle but firm. You've been through a lot. Anna nodded, allowing herself to be helped to her feet. She leaned on Gorak and Rinna as they guided her to the ship's infirmary. Despite her physical weakness, she felt a strength within her that she had never known before. Back at the academy, Anna was no longer the joke. Her heroism had saved countless lives, and her peers now looked up to her. The instructors marveled at her transformation. Anna knew her journey was just beginning, but she was ready for whatever came next. When the hatch opened, Anna and her team emerged to thunderous applause. She felt a mix of pride and humility as she stepped onto the platform, her teammates flanking her. Commander Threx, who had always been critical of her performance, approached with a rare smile. Cadet Parker, he began, his voice carrying a newfound respect. You have exceeded every expectation. Your actions have saved countless lives and struck a significant blow against the Zalathar. The Academy is proud to call you one of our own. Anna nodded, accepting his words with a sense of accomplishment. She glanced around at the faces of her peers, seeing admiration and awe where there had once been doubt and ridicule. It was a moment she had dreamed of, but never thought possible. Admiral Sarek stepped forward next, addressing the gathered crowd. Today we celebrate not just a victory, but the emergence of a new leader. Anna Parker has shown us that true strength lies within, waiting to be discovered. Her journey is an inspiration to us all. As the ceremony continued, Anna felt a deep connection to her teammates. Zorvax, Gorak, Rinna, and Dr. Varick had become more than just colleagues. They were friends and comrades. They had faced unimaginable challenges together and emerged stronger for it. Later, as the celebrations wound down, Anna found herself in the Academy's observatory, staring out at the stars. She felt a presence beside her and turned to see Zorvax. You did something remarkable, Anna, he said, his voice filled with genuine admiration. We all saw it. You're a hero. Anna shook her head slightly. 
I just did what needed to be done. We all did. Zorvac smiled. True, but you showed us what it means to harness true potential. You've set a new standard for all of us. She appreciated his words, but knew that her journey was far from over. The resonance within her was a powerful force, and she still had much to learn. The Zalathar threat was not fully extinguished, and there would be more battles to fight.